All right, in this video, we're going to go over an example of the binomial distribution. And we're going to be using the example of 5.22 in the book. This is on page 196. And basically, we've got a statement of the problem. And as you walk through the problem, it may or may not say what distribution it is. This one happens to say what distribution we're using. On the exam, it may or may not say. So you should go through here and list the information that you have first. Note that uh, we've got a domestic airlines in on-time arrivals it has a rate of 0.825. So that's basically saying there's an 82.5% chance that a flight is going to be on time. And then we're looking for, since it's a binomial, how many trials or events there are that we test at that probability. And it gives us that here. Next six flights. So we know that N is 6. And we know that pi is 0.825. So those are the values that we're going to enter in when we use Minitab. And so I'm going to click over to Minitab to make this distribution. Okay, and here we're going to go to the graph of the probability distribution. Just to look at the graph. I'm going to click OK. Choose a binomial. Our number of trials, that was the number of flights that we were reviewing, six flights. The event probability is 0.825. I just plug those values in and push OK. And it plots the distribution for us. We can see each probability as we drag the mouse over the bar. And now we've built a, a binomial distribution. So let's go back to the problem. In the problem, part A says, basically, what is the probability that the next, in the next six flights, four will be on time? So in terms of the probability notation, we would say probability that x equals four. So we're looking at a direct event, single event, where x is equal to 4, or the number of flights that are on time are 4. Okay, We can get that number very easily using the chart that we just made in Minitab. x represents the number of flights on time. We go to 4, and we can see that the probability that x equals 4 is 0 0.212806. And so that's our answer. The other way to find this probability, I'm going to minimize this, is using the calc tool. We can go to calc, we can go to probability distributions, choose binomial. We're looking for a probability. We put in our binomial distribution information where there were six trials and the probability was 0.825. And we're going to input a constant in this case. The constant will be Four. In other words, what's the probability that x is four? That's what this is asking. And I push OK, and it gives me the same probability as the chart gave. Notice here, as I drag the mouse over here, that is the same value with the same number of decimal places, actually. And so that's how we can find that probability, either using the chart or using the calculator. Now, preferably on an exam, I would prefer to see a different approach. We go to distribution plots again and go to view probability instead. I have to put in our information for the binomial. And then in our shaded area, since this is a distinct x value that we're entering in, we want to choose x value. And we're looking at a specific probability not a range of probabilities. I'm going to choose middle and put in the number 4 twice. Okay? And that's going to give me the probability 
of x being 4, and it's going to highlight that bar. And so that's kind of nicer to see it that way, but either way is okay. Now let's look at the next few. Now, um, the probability that all six will be on time, we can compute that probability very easily, also using a chart or using the calculator. I can even just hold my mouse over and get that answer. Probability that x equals 6 is 0 0.315300. So that would be a good way to do it as well. A fast way to do it. Okay, what's the next one? C asks, what's the probability that at least four flights will be on time? Now in this case, we're going to have to use probability chart. And in the probability chart, I'm going to choose the last dialog box because that's very fast and it's already got the information up. In our shaded area plot, in our probability distribution plot, in our shaded area, we're at being asked that it, what's the probability that at least four flights are on time? And so at least four means that I'm looking at a right tail probability. And four is already in this box, but you have to put a four there because we're including it. Notice that in the book it does specifically say at least four flights, so four and higher. Right tail. We've got four entered in, and I push OK, and it computes that probability for me. 0.9294 is the probability that at least four flights are on time. Okay. Lastly, we have part D, which asks, what are the mean and standard deviation of the number of on-time arrivals? And in this case, we're going to have to use the equation which was given at the end of the chapter. And so on page 206, we can find the equations at the end of the chapter. And down here we have binomial distribution equations. And to answer part D, we're going to need N and P for both the mean and for the standard deviation equations. And since we know N is equal to 6 and pi, is equal to 0.825. We just plug those values in for each of these equations and we've got the mean and the standard deviation. That shouldn't be a problem. Alright, the next video we'll cover is the Poisson distribution.